my research documents on how to run your automobile on economical fuel derived from water, H2O. With electricity, a little bit, you can make HHO gas, 100%. Makes auto pollution free. I met John Lorenzen in 1994 with my father, Charles. See the DVD at Vanderbilt University Library. He made ABC Man of the Year. Now, I've got better uh, I've got better uh, documentation of this on Facebook Alternate Energy page if somebody's interested. Let me know and I'll try to get it, get you a member. Um, I witnessed this myself and it was running a V8 Ford pickup truck 60 miles to the gallon using gallon water every couple hundred miles John was a very interesting man. He generated all the power on his farm. He had two big windmills. One was the backup of the other. He had a battery room about nine by nine foot. It had Thomas Edison's name on the glass type batteries. I think they were sodium batteries. This diagram shows the engine where he had his electrolysis unit. He had a separate generator that just powered the the electricity going to the electrolyzer. He had a simple amp gauge on it. Very simple system and of course he supplemented the gasoline. It totally eliminated the pollution coming out of the tailpipe. Here's another diagram, a little square rectangular box is his unit. He had three cells, I think he only used a couple. This kind of shows his plate design. He just built them so the negative and positive don't touch each other and as close as possible. Use tool grade stainless. It's the kind a magnet sticks to. So if you go to scrapyard, make sure a magnet sticks to it before you buy it. I made mine out of, out of scrap stainless from a scrapyard. Here's a couple more pictures. And here's an overall diagram. And uh, he was a very, very good uh, man because he could do things simply, and uh, it worked. Now, the United States Patent Office gave a man a patent, and I think, I'm trying to see the date on this. Yeah, that was March 19, 1918, which means it's open to anybody. But uh, you can see the patent number on it. Uh, the patent number is one, two, I'm hard time seeing here, one, two, five, nine, eight, nine, eight, I believe. And it's called Process of Making a Gas. Here's the second page. And then there's a diagram. Now, folks, you know, 1918, that was a long time ago. The patents are only good for 17 years. I'm not sure when it was then. But for sure, it's open public domain. Anybody wants to build. And by the way, John Lorenzen made his work public domain. He never tried to get a patent. What a man. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. This is Liberty Larry. Where the sport, spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And... I hope that this helps us gain energy independence, pollution free.